So as I entered Oregon and Washington, my friend suggested I should go to Mount St. Helens. So that's what we did. My new phone is actually garbage, so I'm gonna return it and get something else. But it was pretty scenic drive up the mountain. There's quite a few RV parks, state parks, uh, bait parks. But those are down next to the lakes. about an hour drive from the highway. found the spot I wanted to go to on iOverlander application which was supposed to be free but it was actually not it was like I think it's like 5-10 bucks but you have to get the pass at some office that I have no idea where it was take the next right then you'll arrive at your destination we stopped there anyway It's a very remote location, no cell service. And there's more animals than humans for sure. You've arrived. It's actually a really nice camping spot, but we didn't have the pass, so we had to leave and look for something else because there's quite a few places you can camp as long as it's not paved road you and it's not some grass or something you're fine we were not on the erupted side of the volcano but we're on a tight time schedule kinda and I don't want to abuse the van drive up and down the mountains This is supposedly where lava was flowing, one of the flowing baths. And the camping spot was a like a photography site marked on the maps and there was another car a couple camping so we just spent the night there drinking beer talking and that's basically where we woke up it's a really nice sight We spent probably half a day there, just taking some panoramic shots and stuff. Safari found a hole under a big rock. I guess there's some birds living. There's some big 
footmarks of some animals. ground is super soft it's like walking on a carpet to show the water tank I got from uh, Whole Foods it's 2 gallon I believe it's 2.5 gallon and I cut a small hole on top of it with a knife so it flows water easily otherwise it's just stuck in vacuum and it's like under 3 bucks for 2.5 gallon of water with this valve it's perfect sits on top of my microwave and on top of my fridge installed polarizer on my phone the new phone so less reflections of the damn solar panel if I turn it you can see it just random waterfall we were heading to Ape Cave which is a lava tube so basically lava was flowing under the ground creating a tunnel it's about three miles long I believe I did not have a powerful flashlight so this is the best I could get with my phone flashlight obviously it was doing nothing it was pitch black inside only way I could see something was looking through my professional camera which I could bump the ISO super high and then I can see like in pitch black darkness but I still had to illuminate with my phone flashlight but the phone sees absolutely nothing and I didn't see absolutely anything just following whatever I see on my camera and I'll add uh, this is a video actually from my professional camera while I try to shine some light with my phone it's pitch black It's 
say it's like 30 feet high. Some photos with the camera. This is the exit of the cave. And that's about it. We're heading back down from the mountain through the sand drive. I was doing the speed limit, but there was quite a few cars behind me going downhill trying to pass me and beat me and stuff and I'm getting old so I'm driving at the speed limit enjoying the views Center and then Ruby Beach on that next video. That's it for today. Click like, it's free. <laughs>